Well today we're going to be looking at comparing some retro but based on old 1970s figures and some more modern NECA figures. So we've got uh, two versions of Ripley for each. We've got Ripley in a uh, jumpsuit, Ripley in a spacesuit. So let's look at uh, Ripley in a jumpsuit first. So let's look at the reaction figure. So reaction, I want to say reissue, but they're not really. They got hold of prototypes and I think some molds, but it might have been just the prototypes of the original can of figures that were going to be released. And they reissued them, redid them, um, which is it's the lovely set. And this one is Ripley, and it's got the classic Kenner grainy photo on it. And let's have a look at the figure. So they were really, really soft, sort of indis indistinct sculpts on these figures, like uh, Kenner did at the time. Um, there's no saying that had these been released in 1979, they wouldn't have redone the heads or something. Um, but it's quite a nice representation of Ripley in a jumpsuit. You get a flamethrower unit, flame unit with it. Um, let's have a look at the back of the card. So the original set was Ripley, Kane, although to be fair it was such a generic face, it could have been anyone. Uh, Dallas and Ash. Ash is my favourite of the figures. Uh, and then you also got the brilliant alien that had... A little tongue that stuck out. Um, so quite a quite a nice representation for the time. Would love to have seen these out, although they would have been so expensive now you wouldn't be able to afford them. But this is the Necker figure. Uh, so this one I've actually repainted the face. I wasn't overly happy with the, the paint apps on the one I got. Um, but it's a really good figure. You get the flame unit. Again, I touched up some of the paint on that. Um, a much better representation of the jumpsuit with all the uh, military bits added on from other uniforms and other military army surplus. And you got the Nostromo badge, which obviously on this one is just a red patch. And on this one, much, much better likeness to Sigourney Weaver. And the uh, the articulation's pretty good. Let me just pop this up into the holder. So let's just take the gun off. So articulation, you got the sort of uh, cut and swivel joints on the armpits, ball joint head, so she can look down, look around. Uh, cut and swivel joint on the elbow. Sort of the weird sort of ball jointy thing they do that gives a bit of wrist articulation. You've got the sort of chest articulation, ball joints on the uh, pelvis, cut and swivel on the knees. Nothing on that. Actually, you know, they do turn slightly. Yeah, there's sort of a cut and swivel on the, the ankles doesn't work too well so a nice nice figure you can actually hold the the weapon if you want her to just put it over her head so again a good representation very thin <laughs> let's have a look at uh, Ripley in her spacesuit so again the same Packaging, which is based on the original ones. They weren't going to do Ripley in the spacesuit in the original run, so this is a one of um, Reaction's sort of custom figures. So what they've done is taken the Ripley head, ooh, with dodgy, dodgy paint apps from the Ripley and jumpsuit figure and popped it on Kane's spacesuit. Because all the spacesuits were very similar, just different in colour, so they've reissued a lot of these. Yeah, I've got the loose cane here. So you can see it's the same spacesuit. Um, for the time, this was a great looking figure. Really good detail. And the helmet does come off. So you can see, very, very gentle. You would not get John Hurt out of that. You could literally call that anyone in the cast. Um, 
Again, five point articulation. Basic boots, but a good representation of the, the spacesuit. Um, they've chosen a grainy photo of Ripley in the spacesuit, which is quite nice. Um, no accessories in this one. Be nice to get the uh, grapple gun. And then this was series two, I think, which was Ripley in spacesuit, a different alien. Uh, Kane with chest burster, and again, couldn't get a likeness to uh, John Hurt, so just a generic figure. And then Kane with face hugger, which they don't have to worry about the likeness to John Hurt. Um, now let's have a look at the NECA version of the spacesuit. And again, I've also got a Dallas in spacesuit. This is a great. Probably one of my favourite figures. Look at the detail. It's amazing. If you want to make a suit you know, cosplay, this is the thing to copy. It's just brilliant. You do get the uh, grapple gun, which is good. So you can reenact the end of the film. And uh, look at that, even got the hot water taps. So clever. Uh, the helmet does go off. Let's uh, pop this up in the holder. And let's have a look at the articulation. So, pop the gun down. Give me. Let go. Just have one let go of it. Ah, well, she's going to be holding it. It doesn't come out too well. So, you've got rubberized shoulder pads. Like I say, the helmet does come off. So, you can take the top visor bit off and the other rest of the helmet if you want to. I'll leave that on for now because you've got to unplug all these. Oh, they've, they've unplugged. It does come off, you just got to get it off past the hair. Um, so again, the really good sculpt of Ripley, just a bit blandly painted. Um, so you've got cut and swivel on the uh, shoulders. You've also got a bicep cut joint, which is nice. Always helpful on a figure. Um, you've got Basic, oh, can you see that that's about as far as it will go? Basic cut joint on the and swivel on the elbow, but can't really do anything. The weird ball joint on there. Um, you've got the chest sort of ball joint, you've got a waist joint, see that, and then you've also got ball joint, pelvis knee joint and swivel on the feet. So again, really good. Not as poseable as the uh, the other Ripley figure, but that's because it's a bulky old spacesuit. Uh, backpack doesn't come off. You've got all the little labels on, which is great. Like I say, probably my favorite NECA figure that I've got so far. Um, like I say, you can get a Dallas. I've got a Dallas. Um, so I might do a review on him if you want to see a review on the Dallas figure. Um, which I can compare to the Dallas figure from the uh, Retro 7 line, uh, Reaction, sorry, Retro figure line, um, but one's in spacesuit, one isn't. Um, need to get more of these alien figures, but they do tend to go for a, a bit of a price now. But they are really nicely detailed. Um, so there we go. Um, four Ripley figures. Um, two... Very detailed, too basic, but all worth getting. So if you want to see more alien stuff, let me know. I've got quite a bit of an alien collection going on. Um, and if you want to see more reaction or NECA figures, let me know. I've got quite a few Godzillas for some reason. I think every time I see a Godzilla NECA figure, I've got to buy it. Um, but thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you can. It all helps the channel. And I'll see you again next time. Thanks, then. Bye.